Richard uh, Brichet goes with them up to the line green flag we're racing once again here at Spa Francorchamps less than three minutes plus one lap of this race remaining around La Source Chris Richard leads from Josh Files as Reese Barr scrapping with Danny Nage for eighth place there down the hill then towards Eau Rouge That's Josh Files. What's happened to Josh Files? I was going to say that it looked like Chris Rickard now from Julien Brichet with Jean Calvinet in third, but there was no sign of Josh Files. Files having dropped right back. So what on earth happened coming out of La Source? Chris Rickard now leads from the Peugeot of Julien Brichet. Jean Calvinet third, Maxime Potty fourth. Then it's Azkenar fifth, Paulson sixth. Then it's this scrap between Danny Nage and Rhys Barr. And so, not a happy hunting ground for the Hondas here at Spa Francorchamps. We'll have to find out what happened to Josh Files. But Chris Richard now has a different man in his mirror. Julien Brichet in the Peugeot is in second. Jean Calvinet in third. There is Dusan Borkovic now up into 10th place because of, of, because of Files' problem. And also up another place, it would appear, because Reese Barr seems to be dropping back. One minute left on the clock, plus one lap. The gap between first and second, just three tenths of a second. Jean Calvinet, a further four tenths back. Brichet having a look. And Vinay, I think, will be content with a podium finish, or will he? There's the small matter of the Kemmel straight still to come as Richard just misjudges it, runs wide, allowing Brichet to get up alongside on the braking zone for the chicane. And there's, con there's a contact between Jean Calvinet and Brichet. Vinay is running slowly. And indeed pulls over. Vinay having lunged up the inside. And you can see the frustration on the team. Vinay pulls over, his race is run. There will be two more laps of Spa Francorchamps. And it was Vinay who attempted to dive up the inside of Julien Brichet, made contact. And so that takes a little of the pressure off Chris Ricard, who now leads on this penultimate lap from Julien Brichet. Maxime Potty now up into the podium positions once again. Then Mikel Athkenar. Stian Paulson, let's look at that again. Last of the late breakers is Jean Calvinet. Goes clattering into the side of the Persia. Watch this again. Thump sends Brichet sideways but recovers. And, uh, and indeed, Brichet, it would appear, has a problem. So he strict straight lines. And so... Brichet is rejoined just ahead of Maxime Potty, but the car seems to be quite difficult to control under braking. So this is Brichet making a move for the lead. He makes contact with Chris Richard, and so not quite what I thought. It wasn't a problem with braking, it was a result of contact with Chris Richard. So Richard still leads from Brichet, from Potty, Avkanar, Paulson, and Files is in the pits, his race is run. And a little flash of the lights from Julien Brichet. So, not happy with that contact. So, the dramas continue right up to the very close of this race at Spa Francorchamps. Chris Ricard leads for target competition in the Hyundai. In second place is Julien Brichet in the Peugeot. Third is Maxime Potty in the Volkswagen. Fourth, Mikel Avkenar in the Cupra. Fifth is Stian Paulsen in the Cupra. As Jean Calvinet is out of the car and out of the race.
Borkovic is up into seventh place, so has recovered after that early contact with, uh, with Danny Cruz. Down they come into the breaking zone for the chicane for the penultimate time. There is Danny Cruz, currently ninth ahead of Francisco Mora. So one more lap of Spa Francorchamps for Chris Rickard to hang on to take his first win of the year. But the incident is under investigation. The contact between 94 Chris Rickard and 4 Julien Brichet is under investigation. But for the moment, Chris Rickard has a seven, nearly eight tenths of a second lead over Julien Brichet. Maxime Potty has his own battle with Mikel Athkenar to worry about. Then it's Stian Paulsen, then Danny Naj, Dusan Borkovic seventh, Respar eighth. There is, uh, there are the target pair as uh, Brichet moves up alongside, or not quite, alongside Richard's Hyundai. This is a battle that's going to go to the wire, though. Julien Brichet clearly feels aggrieved about that contact. He moves wide as uh, Richard once again moves to block. Down into Bruxelles for the final time. And despite protestations from the target competition team, it appears that it will be a Hyundai that will win this race. Chris Rickard almost lights to flag. He was alongside Reese Barr going into turn one, and then it was going through Eau Rouge on lap one where he took the lead. And apart from that very brief moment where Julien Brichet just nosed ahead and the pair made contact, Chris Rickard has led throughout this race. Richard then half a lap, slightly less away from becoming the fifth race winner in TCR Europe 2018. It was Borkovic, his teammate, who took the two wins at Paul Ricard in Zandvoort. It was Athkana in race one, Josh Files in race two, and then yesterday Jean Calvenet took victory in round number five. Still Julien Brichet flashes the lights. Hard onto the brakes then. Through the chicane for the final time comes Chris Rickard in the number 94 target competition Hyundai. He heads up to the line and takes the checkered flag. Victory for Chris Rickard with Julien Brichet finishing second in the Peugeot. And happiness at target competition. That means an awful lot to them. Maxime Potty finishes on the podium for the second time this weekend. And so we know that will be popular as... Uh, was that Cenchetti in the background pulling off within sight of the finish line? Indeed so. Martin Reber crosses the finish line. Cenchetti, what on earth happened there? Coming out of the chicane for the final time. And slowing. Oop almost being connected and there's no way he'll make the the finish line so disappointment for Loris Cenchetti within sight of the finish in the Hyundai the number 14 car so a few mysteries to clear up after this race what on earth happened to 